Hey, what's up, Anthony? Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so looking at your kind of profile here, it looks like you are most dangerous as a return special. Is that how you would categorize yourself? No, nah, man. I mean, I think that's definitely a part of my game, but, um, you know, I definitely think, you know, it's more, more than just the return part. Um, you know, I'm, I think I solidified that, you know, I could play wide receiver, um, you know, at a high level, you know, throughout this process. So, um, you know, I'm excited to get there and, um, you know, whatever my role is from day one, you know, um, you know, special teams, obviously, but, um, you know, I'm, I'm excited to get out there and uh, get up to Indy and get ready to compete. Anthony, uh, congratulations on being drafted. I know you mentioned that there's other parts of your game other than um, being a return man. So what do you think are the hallmarks of your game as a receiver specifically? Oh, yeah. You know, I think obviously, you know, the speed down the field, um, but also, you know, the intermediate and short game as well. You know, um, you know, I ran a, a full tree at Oregon State where, uh, you know, we're having to take deep shots, but we're also, um, you know, we're living in the middle of the field and, um, you know, running a lot, a lot of stuff, uh, you know, from the slot. So, um, you know, luckily for me, I played outside and inside in, in college. So, um, you know, I'm I'm a guy you can put, put wherever, you know, game plan wise. So, uh, yeah, I think, you know, just obviously the deep shots, but, you know, the intermediate game as well, uh, all the stuff underneath. Joel? When, when you are in the return game, what, what do you think makes you such a, a good return man? Is, is it just feel kind of pretty natural back there? Yeah, I think it's just the confidence, you know. Um, I think it's just the confidence uh, of, you know, just going back there. And every time I'm back there, you know, I, I think I'm a scorer, you know. So that's the mentality I have is, um, you know, every time I'm back here, I'm a scorer. Um, so, you know, just the confidence. But, um, you know, so I, I, I'm i comfortable back there. You know, I've been doing that for such a long time. Um, you know, I did it at a high level in college. So, you know, I don't expect that to slow down. So, um, yeah, man, I'm, I'm excited to get to Indy and, uh, you know, hopefully take that that uh, return game to another level. George? Anthony, do you have much uh, contact with Reggie Wayne during this process, and uh, what would it be like playing for a future Hall of Famer? Yeah, I actually, actually did not have much uh, too much contact. Um, the assistant wideout coach for the, the Colts was actually um, my wide receiver coach at uh, the East-West Shrine game, so um, had a little bit of connection there, but – um yeah haven't didn't talk to Reggie Wayne too much but I mean like you said is he's a legend you know Hall of Famer so um you know to get coached by one of the best ever of all time you know that's something that that's a blessing you can't you know you can't take that for granted so um you know I'm I'm coming in day one ready to learn and um you know being able to just pick his brain just because you know he's been there and he's done it at a high level so um yeah I'm, I'm excited for that and you know that's that's that was a you know something that really makes me happy going to to Indy. Jake? Yeah, I'm I'm not sure as a receiver, you know, how much you put in your game with like ad libbing and like uh being creative and keeping things going when the play is breaking down. But obviously your quarterback now, Anthony Richardson, that's you know, his his specialty is keeping the play alive. Um, do you have much experience playing with quarterbacks with that type of mobility? And are you familiar with Anthony whatsoever? Oh yeah. Um, you know, I've got the, you know, being around some some guys at, you know, Oregon State uh who use their legs. Um, you know, the, the last year or two we kind of got away from um, you know, quarterbacks who are uh, mobile uh, in the sense of, you know, they're they're trying to scramble almost every play. But, um, yeah, man, uh, I'm excited to get up there and play with uh, Anthony Richardson. You know, he's, he's, a, he's a great player. Um, you know, we played that Florida team uh, last year and uh, or two years ago in the bowl game. Um, he didn't play, so um, didn't get to see see him too much in, in person. But, um, you know, I've seen the stuff he's done at the next level and um, – I know the athlete and the quarterback he is, so I'm excited to get up there and, uh, you know, just compete, like I said. Last one, James. Uh, do you have to fight over the name with Anthony at all? Um, that's a joke. <laughs> but, uh, but I do want to ask, when it comes to the new kickoff rules in the NFL, like, I guess how much you pay attention to that and how much do you think you could add value in that regard just because the rules are changing? Oh, yeah, you know, I think I can add a ton of value that way. Um, you know, just, just from the – just the standpoint of, you know, the way I look at it, it's almost like a glorified punt. You know, um, a lot of guys are going to be a lot a lot closer in space. Um, you know, you guys aren't getting, uh, you know, 20-yard, 25-yard head start running running towards you. Uh, so, you know, blocks are going to get picked up cleaner. Um, but, yeah, no, it's going to be interesting to see, you know, see how that, uh, how that works with, um, you know, just the schematic of things. But, um, you know, I, I know I can come in and day one, you know, punt return, kick return. Um, you know, that's that's all my game. So, you know, I'm excited to, you know, see how the, the new rules for for that, uh, you know, shake out. And, um, yeah, man, I'm, I'm excited just to get to Indy and, you know, go to work.